In a previous video, I demonstrated how inaccurate the coolant temperature gauge is on a Porsche 996. Um, I've decided to do some changes to the unit. So this is actually um, an instrument cluster out of a Boxster, which I'm using for development before I, I move the modifications onto the one in my car. So what I've done is I've rescaled the, um, the coolant gauge. So now we have 40 is this one on the end. Then we've got 60, 80, 100, and 120 on there. Um, I've also modified it to use for measuring oil temperature. So I'm just using a power supply to simulate the sensor. And from my circuitry, I've also got the data coming up here. So if we look on here near the top there, you'll see we currently have a coolant temperature of 89.8. .8. So if you look on there, that's basically midway between the 80 and 100. So if I move, change this voltage to increase the temperature, so if we go up to say 110, so it's all very inaccurate around the uh, set, to, set to just over 100. So now if we look on there, it's basically sitting at just over 100. Um, so now I can get accurate readings from the temperatures. If you look on here, you'll see we've got coolant temperature coming in as currently at 101 and oil temperature coming in as 90. Now on the standard 996 cluster, there isn't an oil temperature gauge. So what I've done is I've, I've connected it up to this button. So if I do a short press on this button, it will switch over to reading the oil temperature. And I'm using an un, one of the unused indicators down here to show that it's now showing oil temperature. So quick press on here and I can just toggle between coolant temperature and oil temperature. You see the, the dial is quite slow to respond. Um, when monitoring oil um, water, the coolant temperature, if the oil temperature drops significantly, so basically if the oil temperature is below 80 degrees, then it's flashing this light here. So basically when you first start the car up, when it's warming up until the oil temperature gets up to 80 degrees, I've got an indicator there just to to warn me that the oil temperature is low. So the idea of these modifications is that I can now get a much more accurate reading from of what the actual coolant temperature is rather than what the um, what the gauge is telling me. I'll put, um, at the end of this video, I'll just put a picture from my previous video to show you what the original one was reading. One further modification I've done on here um, is I've put a, an output driver on it. So if we have high coolant temperature, so basically if the coolant temperature goes above, um, I think it's set to 95 degrees at the moment, so I just wind that up so it goes over 95. Um, then I have a, an indicator like here, this is driving an output to switch on a third radiator. So on my development car, I've got a switchable centre radiator. So I've set that to come on when the coolant temperature goes above 95 and it goes off when it drops below 90. So it's got some hysteresis on it.